is Reverend Ian, and I'm really happy to have the chance to tell you today the story of Christmas. We're all beginning to think about Christmas now, aren't we, and getting ready. And for us, it's about seeing people we love and its presents and nice food and parties. And that's all good. It's good also to remember why we're doing it. Christmas is a birthday party. Do you know whose birthday we remember at Christmas? I bet you do. Yes. It's Jesus. Here's a little doll of Jesus. I'll tell you at the end about how I made uh, these figures. I'm going to tell the story uh, with a crib set that I've had for a long time. In this story, Jesus, of course, is just a little baby. Later on, he grew up and Christians believe that Jesus in his life showed us what God is like better than we've ever understood it before or since. And in the way he died and rose again, he rescued us from all the things we need rescuing from. And Jesus taught that children are very special, that all of us need to be quite like little children. So it's good at Christmas to remember Jesus isn't God because he's going to grow up later. Jesus is God as a little baby. The other main person in the story is Jesus' mum. Here she is. You remember her name? She's called Mary. The whole story happens because Mary says yes. God asks her to have the baby, but she doesn't have to. But she says yes. And that's a wonderful reminder uh, in the Christmas story that God does fantastic things with us, but he doesn't do things to us. He wants to work with us. So Christmas is a time alongside opening our hearts to our family, also to open our hearts to God and say, yeah, I want uh, to love you, God, and I want to love other people. Please help me and we can work together on that. That's what the story is about with Jesus and Mary. So let's get on and tell the story. The beginning of the story, as I say, is about a young woman called Mary. Mary loved God very much and she wanted to serve God, but she didn't know what to do. One day she was thinking about that when a certain somebody appeared. Do you know who it was? Well, Mary didn't. It was an angel, that's to say a messenger from God. And the angel said, my name's Gabriel and I've got a message for you. God is going to give you a baby. And the baby is going to be very special. He will be God with people. He's going to tell people about God's love and he's going to save everybody from all the things they need saving from. Mary said, gosh, well, if that's what God wants, then I'll do that. But I'm a bit frightened about having a baby because I haven't got a husband and it's hard having a baby without a husband. And the angel said, don't worry, it'll be all right. Well, here's Mary again. And here is Joseph. Joseph loved Mary very much and he married her. Um, uh, he knew she was having a baby and he thought, well, I'll look after Mary uh, and her baby. But then when they were thinking about getting ready to have the baby, Mary had a big tummy by now, along came the news that they had to go on a journey. They weren't allowed to have the baby at home. They had to go to a place called Bethlehem, something to do with what the government said. So they got the donkey. Here's the donkey. And they travelled off together to Bethlehem. 
when they arrived at Bethlehem, they were quite upset because there was nowhere for them to stay. Mary was just about to have the baby and she thought she was going to have to lie down in the street and have the baby there and then and she'd be cold and it would be hard and that was really upsetting. But then somebody was kind to her and said, you can have this, the baby in our shed. It's where the babies, it's where the animals live. So there we are, Joseph and Mary and the donkey. And we've got a pig as well, all in this shed. And then who came along but the baby Jesus. So that's the story of how Jesus got born, but it's not the end of the Christmas story. God wanted to tell everyone the good news about Jesus being born. He started by telling some very poor people. This little man here is a shepherd. Can you see this sheep at the back? Hello, sheep. Shepherds in those days were people nobody liked very much. Uh, they they were smelly, you see. They used to smell of the sheep. And uh, they had almost no money. They were very poor people. So this little shepherd, nobody thought he was an important person at all. But God did. So God sent a messenger to tell him. Here's the angel again. I have good news for you, says the angel. In Bethlehem there's a baby being born and he is going to change everything. Peace on earth and good things for all people. Be happy. And then the angel went away into heaven. Well, thought the shepherd, I'd better go and see this special baby. And so he did. Here we are back in the stable at Bethlehem and here comes the shepherd, he comes to see the baby. So we'll put him just here behind the pig where he can see the baby. So that was the first set of people who came to see the baby, that was the, uh, the shepherd. And afterwards God did another thing again. He sent uh, a message to some very powerful and rich and important people. We call them the wise men. And they came too. Here they are, there's, there's three of them. There's one. There's another one. And here's the third one. And they brought special gifts for the baby. Gold, and a kind of perfume called frankincense and another one that's used uh, for uh, burying bodies actually called myrrh. So here we are, we'll put the, the wise men also where they can see the baby. So that's the story of Christmas. It's a story how God has come very, very close to us in the baby at Bethlehem, who is Jesus, and how God told people this good news. First he told the very poor people, and then he told rich and powerful people, the wise men. That's all I wanted to tell you today, except I thought you might be interested how I made these figures. We made them a long time ago, when my children were the same age as, uh, as you. Now they're all grown up and they've got jobs. We made them by mixing a big bag of flour with a big bag of salt and some water. You could do that at home with your families. If you mix them all together, it makes a dough that you, where you can make figures like this and then you put them in the oven and bake them and they go really hard. And then you can paint them. And that way they last 20 years like these have wish you all a very happy Christmas. <laughs>